What's up guys, welcome back to Frosty Gaming. Today we're gonna to be doing a $500 gaming build for you guys. Um, this is excluding the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, obviously. I assume you already have stuff like that, that's why I leave those products out. And it's really hard to do a $500 gaming PC, uh, specifically for gaming, if you wanna get medium to high quality, which this rig will be able to do. Uh, this is kind of a build guide for you guys. If you guys wanna order the parts, they'll be in the description down below. Um, like I said before, doing a gaming build, and if you include the monitor, keyboard, and mouse, it's really hard to squeeze in the budget for a decent graphics card and a decent CPU. So first off, let's get into the CPU. It's an AMD FX series, FX6300, running at 3.5 gigahertz, which is pretty high for a CPU that this old. Um, it, well, it's not really that old, it's a couple years old. Uh, six core performance and it's running at a hundred bucks right now. So that's an awesome deal on a CPU. If you guys want to pick up a good budget CPU with six to eight cores, I would recommend you upgrade this CPU to the 8350. If you spend a little bit extra, get the 8350. It's going to be a much better uh, eight core performance CPU. That's what I started off YouTube with. So moving on to the motherboard, we have the ASRock 970 Extreme 4. This is an AM3 Plus socketed motherboard, 32 gigabytes of RAM max, and it's only running 113 bucks right now. So um, all these links are gonna be Amazon guys, just so you know. Um, sorry, I have a runny nose. Uh, it's kind of cold here today. Uh, I don't know what part of the country you guys are in, but I'm almost guaranteeing, guaranteeing that none of you are from where I am from. I'm from North Dakota and it's, stays cold until about mid-April. Mid, mid to late April, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, but anyways, so the motherboard, uh, really good really good price on that. All Amazon links down below, guys. If you guys wanna pick some of these up, I've actually had a few people order the gaming builds that I've been doing over the course of uh, six months or so now. And uh, they're really happy with them and everything works, so not, there's no issues or anything like that. So moving on to the RAM, we have Corsair Vengeance, RAM DDR3, 1600 megahertz, this is two four gigabyte sticks and it's running $39 right now. I remember when DDR3 RAM came out and it was like $400 for two four gigabyte sticks. It was just crazy, crazy overpriced. That was not even like, I don't know, five years ago. It's, oh man, prices have really dropped. Even DDR4, DDR4 just came out and you can get like two eight gigabyte sticks for, I don't know, like 79 bucks or something like that. It's pretty crazy. <clears throat> Moving on to the hard drive, we have a Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte, 7,200 RPM. Use this as your boot drive, obviously, and your mass storage. Running at $48 right now. That's a really good deal on a one terabyte hard drive. If you want to pick up like two or three of them, go ahead. If you have the budget, go ahead and pick up like two or three of them if you want to. Also, guys, um, if you like these types of videos, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Spread this across social media. Share, these, share this video. I share every single one of my videos on Twitter and Instagram and also on Facebook. And uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would do the same. But if you guys enjoy this, these types of uh, videos and texts and vlogs and stuff like that, make sure to like, leave a like and a comment down below and uh, also subscribe to the channel and consider subscribing and seeing more videos in the future. Uh, so moving on to the GPU, we have an EVGA 750Ti. This is a great bang for your buck GPU. Two gigabyte model. Run, you can run most games now on medium to high settings. Obviously without, uh, without the anti-aliasing and HBAO and all that stuff off. Uh, turn all that bull crap off, the MSAA and FXAA. Turn all that off and you'll be able to run on medium to high settings on almost every, every single game out there right now. This GPU is running at 129 right now. That's a good price on a decent GPU. Um, the 750Ti is basically, I don't know, it's kind of like a 760. It performs like a 760, but it has a little bit less gigs of uh, VRAM. So I don't know what to think about that. It still runs games really well. So if you guys want to pick one up or maybe even run them in SLI, go for it. So for the case, we have the NZXT Source 210. You can get this in white or black. It's an ATX mid tower case. Very, very popular. There's over 4,000 sales of this on Amazon and eBay combined, and it's only running $48. All metal construction, uh, for the most part, besides the front panel and the top panel, I think they are like a plastic or something like that, and it looks like a brushed metal design, which is really cool. I think the white case is a smooth, and the black case is like a brushed uh, metal, distressed metal design. So moving on to the last but not least, the power supply is a Corsair CX500, 500 watt power supply, 80 plus bronze certified. 
this is a non-modular power supply. So, so for 57 bucks, you can't really get modular, you know, anything under $60, you can't really get modular out there. Modular meaning you can, you only plug in what you need and then you don't have to worry about all the extras. This is a non-modular power supply, so you're gonna have all the wires there. So you're gonna have to find some place, usually behind the power supply or behind the bottom of the motherboard tray. You're gonna have to find some place to hide these wires or if you're not worried about wire management, whatever just kind of fling them all around inside there it doesn't really matter anyways guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and a comment down below i know i asked you guys that before but it really means a lot to me and it tells me that you guys like these videos and we'll see you guys in the next video stay frosty